Eiffel. Blond, blond, blond. This is Coogan Cassius Fry from London. We're at the London Olympia here for the match from Christmas Cracker. With me, I've got Boxer Carrier Fire, third round stoppage of Jorge Perez. Yeah. Uh, a little bit longer than anticipated. Well, I did anyway. I took my time a bit in the first round. Went stuck to my boxing. Um, ended up putting him down at the end of the first, was it? Yeah. Um, with some good shots, and then I got a bit trigger happy and I started looking for it in the second. Didn't come, St stayed there a bit too long, got caught with some silly shots. But um, it's poor part of learning, man. I've only had six fights. But um, got back to my jab in the third round, put some nice shots together and got him out of there. Yeah, you got him out there. I mean, the, the towel come in at the same time as obviously the referee stopped it as well. But I mean, did you, what did you learn from today? Obviously, I know you said you were getting caught with some shots today, but obviously, you're right, it's, it's all a learning curve and something to look into for your next fight. Yeah, it's, um, it's all about learning and, you know, um, Stayed there a bit long, neglected my jab in the second round, and I paid the prize for it, got caught with some shots. But luckily enough, I got a good chin touch wood, and uh, it's come back twice as hard. Still unbeaten, you've had as many fights in you know your, your short career as fighters have in two years sometimes. So, what, what is next for you? I mean, are you ready to step it up to this, you know, even British title level, what Eddie's talking about? Yeah, I think so. Um, Back out January 19th, headlining the prize fighters, and don't, I'm not asked, I'm not bothered who he gets for me, but you know, um, just get my head down again. Um, Christmas, probably have Christmas Day off. But let's keep working all the way through, just keep the momentum going, stay sharp, stay fit, and um, get ready for January 19th, whoever, whoever's there. I'm assuming after this victory you would have moved up the British rankings again anyway, so you're going to be in a position within a, the next couple of fights where they're not going to be able to ignore you, any of them, the top lot in that, in that division. Yeah, and that's what we want. Um, whoever Eddie puts me in with, I'll, I'll, go, I'll get in with them. I'm ready, I spar top class fighters, from flyweight to lightweight, sometimes lightweight weight. I spar eight, ten rounds. I'm ready for these kids, and I don't think there's many bantamweights out there that can punch as hard as me anyway. And you can live with my power. So, um, but I want to show people I've got a good boxing brain. I'm sharp. I'm fast. I've got a good brain, and I can punch, and I can take a shot as well. And I'm willing to, you know, do whatever it takes to prove that till I get to the top. On a scale of one to ten, uh, how much do you uh, are disappointed that you didn't do our interview last time round? I was ten. I was gutted. Ten. Yeah, I was gutted. You I made up for it by saying ten. Yeah, I was absolutely gutted. But um, I'm sure I made up for it. Give but you, can you give me a lift? I'll give you a lift yesterday, so, you know, the petrol bill's coming to you. Do you know how much um, Audi A5s drink petrol? You drive about a mile up the road? About well, a mile. It was, it was a mile. It was 0 0.9 of a mile, because I walked it. James. It was a mile. A mile. Yeah, it's about a mile and a half. Yeah, a mile and a half. All right, well, he can pay you for that extra half a mile. Right. Listen, mile. you're progressing very nicely. Yeah. Keep it going. Um, like I said, make the right decisions and... I said you'll be knocking on the door for some sort of title early next year. It's inevitable. Yeah, definitely. And thanks a lot for the time to come and interview me. And I'd like to wish all the iFilm London viewers a very Merry Christmas. Do you know what? You're the first person today to actually say that. And, and also, more importantly than Christmas, are you going to vote for me at the ATG? I already have. I keep logging in. I, keep, I, tell, it, I tell everyone to do it. I'm getting everyone on it. Where are you from, Yemen? Yeah. Tell everyone in Yemen to vote for me. I will. They'll pick up the phone. Actually, they won't. They're all tight. They're all tight in Yemen. Like, so you have to pick up a phone, it's a computer. If they've got a computer, they can do it, it's free. Even John Denham voted for me over there. Fair play to him, fair play to him. He's a good man. He's a good man, to be honest. Of all the people he could have voted for on that list, all the American bigwigs, he picked me. I think you should start doing some like sec back interviews, you know, that geezer? The American geezer. Yeah, that's who I'm up against. That's me and him leading at the moment. Is it? Yeah. You'll beat him. I'm here with Kalen Japai, thank you, goodbye. Reporting! Reporting. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is Coogan Cassius with Cal Your Fire, still unbeaten here at the London Olympia for iPhone London. Thank you very much. Cheers, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs>